What is going on everybody? It is Evrock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video I'm going to show you the correct way to clean your scuff impact controller or scuff controller and how this will help your stick lag, stick drift issues. If you think your controller is broken, I thought my controller was broken until I learned how to clean it out the right way and everything works perfectly fine again. So if you find this video at all helpful, potentially subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and uh, Twitch links going to be in the description box down below if you're at all interested. So without further ado, what you're going to need is a Q-tip, a paper clip or a toothpick, and you're going to want um, like rubbing alcohol. But if you don't have rubbing alcohol, this is just like a hand sanitizer wipe with like an alcohol wipe. So you can use that. And then lastly, the scuff key that comes with your controller. It should be in the box. That's where mine was. That's how you take the uh, like the thumbsticks out. So this is how you do it. I'm trying to do this is easy as possible um i'm working like backwards here so you have your scuff controller here obviously what you're going to want to do is take your scuff key and line it up with the two points here with like the two ish points there you can kind of see so we will line this up you will turn you don't have to turn a whole lot but just turn and then you're going to want to pull relatively hard. Trust me, it's going to feel like you're breaking your controller, but you're really not. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. You're going to have your thumbstick with the ring right there as well. And then this is what the inside of it is going to look like if it focuses. Got a little bit of uh, what it looks like there. So what you're going to do is you're going to either dip the alcohol into or dip your q-tip into the alcohol or what i did was i actually i'll just show you hold on so this little alcohol whatever wipe you want to call it <laughs> i physically just wrapped it around the q-tip and then what you want to do is you want to get in there and clean all this as best as possible so when you have it in there like don't be afraid to actually get all the way in there you want to get up all and around the sensor is all over the place in there get all in there get around this part you definitely want to get in there for uh the best cleaning possible it's super important to get in here because there could be like loose dog hair cat hair animal hair you want to make sure you're getting all the way in there don't be afraid of you know thinking your controller is going to break there's dust particles in here you have to get every single little piece out uh, once you do that make sure it's with the alcohol swab and then I also which I did like the little um, alcohol little swap thing here because with the thumbstick itself I would use it on the top of the thumbstick here I would get the side of the thumbstick here I'll get the underneath part of the thumbstick here and just getting it all super well done and cleaned out it actually got rid of my um, stick drift completely so I did this on both of my sticks cleaning it out is going to get rid of all these particles because they could be latching onto the sensors which is calling causing your stick drift to go left or right or up or down whatever it may be so then once you're done, just make sure you pop this back into place like so. Make sure it's completely in all the way. Put the ring back on. Come back here with your tool and just make sure it is all clamped in there. And then you'll wonder why we have the paper clip. If you see in the top portion, this part might be a little difficult to see. I'm going to have to get a light here. Hold on one second. Right there, there's this little hole you see. Not this big one right here, this littler one. 
you're going to want to when your controller is plugged in get in here and insert a paper clip or a toothpick you're going to want to push in until you your controller turns off and then you turn it back on essentially what that's doing is just resetting your controller basically think of it as like clearing the cache on your computer or hard drive or something so just doing all that and then plugging it back in turning it back on this should help you to obviously a clean your controller the correct way don't use water um, I made that mistake in a previous video. Use alcohol swabs. Um, doing all this is going to help you uh, clean your controller the correct way and everything. Make it run like brand new. If you think it's broken, at least try this before you move on to something drastic. But that is going to be the video. Hopefully it helps you guys out if you're having controller issues. Uh, like I said before, subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. It's absolutely free. Leave a like on the video if you felt it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the drop box down below. I'll do my best to uh, try and answer and help. And thank you guys for the support as always. And I'll see you in the next one.